I'm Dirk Wildemir from Ghent in Belgium and this short presentation is about the management of primary dysmenorrhea in young women treated with a frameless levonorgestrel intrauterine system. Primary dysmenorrhea is a frequent condition in young women. According to recent publication, up to 60% complain of painful menstruation and in these women 12% complain of severe pain. Because of this, many miss school up to 15% or more. Many conventional treatment options have been tried to alleviate primary dysmenorrhea in young women. NSAIDs and combined oral contraceptives are used most often, but they are not very effective. As many patients with primary dysmenorrhea are very young, a levonorgestrel intrauterine system may be very useful, not only to relieve pain, but also to provide contraception and to reduce menstrual bleeding. In our study, we used a frameless intrauterine system because a frameless system does not occupy a lot of space in the uterine cavity. And so it doesn't cause any pain like many conventional intrauterine systems do. In this sonographic picture, we see the frameless fibrous delivery system attached to the uterine fundus and the fiber follows the curvature of the uterine cavity completely. On this slide, you can see on the left-hand side a sonographic picture of the frameless intrauterine system in the uterus. And on the right-hand side is a hysteroscopic picture of the frameless device attached to the uterine fundus. We have used the frameless intrauterine system in many patients complaining of primary dysmenorrhea. On this slide, you can see a number of patients, young women from 14 to 20 years of age, complaining of severe dysmenorrhea, sometimes associated with heavy menstrual bleeding. In these women, menstrual pain disappeared completely or almost completely after a few months and menstruation was reduced significantly. So the conclusion can be made that a levonorgestrel releasing intrauterine system can be used effectively to treat primary dysmenorrhea. However, a frameless intrauterine system may be preferred over framed devices because a frameless device does not take up a lot of space in the uterine cavity and cannot cause any pain.